Welcome to the RPS project, I'm Richard and today I'm going to have a look at a bit of filtering. Uh, if anybody's um, watched the video on me making a preamp for a microphone, I, um, I used this circuit uh, not too long ago um, that I found off YouTube. I did put a link to the original um, YouTube video um, so if anybody wanted to see how that was done. Um, and I made this little preamp. It's uh, a great little preamp, actually seems to work quite well. Um, for a uh, for a dynamic microphone. Well, I quite liked it, it works quite well. My thought was, can I put any filtering on that? Can I put something after that uh, preamp to alter the you know, like treble, the bass, middle, see if I can do that? And I found a little circuit. It's part of a much larger, uh, or, a, or a full circuit for a, um, a guitar amp. Um, seen it a long time ago I don't know where I got it from but I've just taken the filter part from it um, and it looks like that. Um, now to me it seems to be relatively simple this part over here is actually a volume control so yeah it just takes the signal and allows it to, to go out either fully or down to ground so it kills off the signal um, but from this side it looks like this is the treble, so it's a, a high-pass filter here, I suppose, of some sort. And then we've got the middle and the bass. It's a bit of an odd setup, I find. I'm not sure if it sort of resembled the um, Baxendale filter or not. I suppose I'd have to look at that separately. Um, don't really have the equipment to be able to see this sort of thing properly. I don't have a scope, so I'm going to have to try and work out some way of being able to. Um, see if this works, you know, uh, as a as a filter. So, um, but that's that's what I've got. I mean, it's it's fairly simple. That that's the uh, um, the high pass filter for the for the treble. Uh, I say that's the middle, which is obviously this capacitor and resistor with that pot there, and then the base is. I presume it's using this filter coming this way. It's just odd that it's going through this pot and then through that one for this for this filter setup. So I'm not quite sure how that works, but I'm um, uh, I'm sure it does because I say it's come from a, um, a guitar amplifier. Not sure what guitar amplifier. And I've seen the circuit a long time ago, and this is just what I've taken from it. To see if I can make it give me some some filtering on the on the on the audio. Now I've got it set up on the uh, on the workbench, um, on a um, not on a breadboard, well, yeah, on a breadboard and a test board. Um, like I said, I'm not really sure how I'm going to um, test this. I might, perhaps I might be able to record it with a microphone into something like Audacity and just change it around and see if I can enhance it to see if there are actually any differences, or am I going to have to try and find some other way to um, test to see if I'm actually getting bass and treble and whatever else out, out of it. But um, let's have a quick look on the bench and uh, have a look at what I've got set up there. So this is my setup on the bench here. Um, it's quite simple. This is the main part of the uh, circuit for the, for the amplification that I used before. Um, this part, as I've mentioned before, it's not really a volume part. It's more like a sensitivity pot that means that um, depending on how much you want the signal to come through, how sensitive you want it to be, then that pot is what um, what adjusts it. Uh, let's see if I can get this into shot. I'll wiggle it around a bit until you can see. So you know that's the original circuit that I've got um, and that's what I've got on here in that first part which is um, three transistors the first transistor which is actually the one that does the sort of amplification part is well I think it's a, um, it's a common base isn't it almost uh, a common base configuration um, class A amplification so it's it, I don't know, it seems a bit odd but it, it does work and then the other two I'm not quite sure what they seem to do. It's like they uh, just 
helping to um, add a bit more uh, volume in there or something. Uh, <laughs> I not really looked into it, but yeah, that's my amplification stage. Then over here, I've got the um, filter stage. This one over here is my is a volume that is actually volume. I don't really see that too well from that angle. Got a volume pot over here, and the volume pot is 100k. Um, then the first pot, this one here, is the treble, which I believe is. Let's just have a look at the drawing. Is a 22k pot, and then this is my. Um, middle which is a 2k2 and then that's my base which is a 220k um, there's not a lot in there I mean really it's, it's quite a simple circuit I just need to find a way to test it um, like I say, I'm gonna do some recording with audacity and see if I can see if that gives me any uh, information any details if it gives me some sound really that um, sounds like it's uh, being adjusted for the base and the uh, treble and middle. Um, I wonder if there's any other ways I can test this without having a, an oscilloscope. So if anybody knows of a way I can sort of test this circuit, um, short of being able to put it into a um, power amplifier and then get a proper volume, proper signal out into a speaker, which I don't have, so I can't put it into a uh, into a power amplifier but yeah I need to find a way to test this signal this circuit now and make sure that this filtering part does actually work I know this bit works I built it got it in a box and yeah it does what I want it to microphone preamp for a dynamic microphone just need to make sure that this is doing what I think it should and it should do because it's from another schematic for a guitar amplifier well need to work that out I suppose so there you have it, just a little update on uh, what I'm doing with that uh, with that circuit. Um, like I say, the, the preamp works great. I'm just trying to work out if I can get a bit of filtering in there to maybe give a bit more control over the uh, sound. Got the microphone, um, just need to find a way of testing it I suppose now and see if I can uh, actually make it work. Anyway, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe and uh, all comments are welcome. I'd uh, definitely like to have some comments uh, on how I can uh, test this circuit, not having a, a scope to, um, to do some proper analysis. So uh, if anybody knows any other ways I can test it, please let me know. Anyway, see you next time.